Hey, we're doing another What I Eat in a Day Marathon Training Edition. We're going full plant-based today because you know what? We want to. All right, we're on that plant-based grind lately. Here we go. All right, starting off the morning with a nice iced almond milk latte from my Nespresso machine. You guys know I'm obsessed with iced coffee, preferably cold brew, but also, you know what? Treat yourself. Sometimes you want a nice iced almond milk latte. I only drink iced coffee drinks. You know, I'm a coffee snob when it comes to hot versus ice. Ice all the way. So you'll catch me in the winter. It's 30 degrees outside, shivering with an iced coffee in my hand. So adding the ice cubes, adding some froth chilled almond milk. So there you go. Now we are on to the yummy in my stomach oatmeal. So we've got a cup of oats here. You know, I'm a cup gal. I don't do that half cup. We've got a scoop of my favorite protein powder. It's MRM Veggie Elite Vanilla Bean. And then you just stir it together. You know, I just finished up a run. Rise and grind, baby. Usually I eat oatmeal before I run, but today was after, so I added some protein powder in. And adding some hot water. You know, we're not using the microwave today. I've been on this kick lately where I just add hot water. I kind of like the texture a little bit better. So stir it up, add more water than you think, and then we're just going to let it uh, sit aside for a little bit. And we're moving on to our nanner. You know you can't have oatmeal without banana, all right? It's not even oatmeal if you don't have banana. I'm going to try not to slice my finger off. Um, I'm really not good at using knives, so please don't judge my skills. Um, <laughs> definitely almost chopped my finger off the other day with uh, cutting an avocado, but... Whoa, and now look at this oatmeal. She is thick with 10 C's. That's what happens when you let it sit in hot water for a while. Look at that texture on fleek. All right, now we're adding our frozen banana. I like to add frozen banana because I like how it like melts into the hot oats. And adding almond butter, you know, I love my nut butters. You can't have enough. Getting two spoonfuls because, you know, treat yourself, okay? The best part of the oatmeal is just a vessel for almond butter. All right, here we go. There's the finished product, yum. Devouring that in one second. It's lunch time! To be honest, lunch is literally my least favorite meal of the day. I never know what to make, I never know what I'm feeling, um, but here we are. So just chopping up some zucchini. I kept chopping them so that one would roll away, which was irritating. I'm not the best chopper, as you can see. Really not, but we're making like a pesto stir fry type thing. So we got some red onion, some green onion, which I'm just going to chop the white onion part at the bottom and leave the green for the top. We've got some sweet potato, really bad at chopping sweet potato, really inefficient. <laughs> just, I think that's the thing that this video has taught me is that I'm an extremely inefficient chopper. Like I need to work on my chopping skills. I chop so often, I chop so hard, you know, one crazed foodie want to find me. I hate it. <laughs> Okay, now we're sauteing the sweet potato and we're putting in some water to boil a little bit to get it cooked and then it was too hot and then it literally fogged up my camera so I had to take a little intermission. But we're moving on to the frozen veggies. Literally the only thing at the bottom of the bag is carrots so I guess we're getting in our vitamin A is it? I don't know. We're doing a lot of orange here. We got like one spare piece of broccoli in there, some cauliflower. Just letting that simmer and then we put some zucchini, red onion, garlic in there. Again, letting it cook down for a bit. Adding some kale because anti-inflammatories, fellas, right? We're all about that. Don't usually like kale, but I've kind of been into it lately. And when I let it cook down, it doesn't taste too bad. So there we go. And adding some kidney beans. You know, we want some plant-based protein in here. We're trying to get swole. So, <laughs> so we have to add our beans in there. Emma the bean gal, that's what they call me. All right, chili lime cilantro pesto. We love it. Got this from the Portland State Farmer's Market. Have been in love, you know? I love pesto. This was a good buy, and I'm adding the rest of it that I have left to this stir fry. Sad, I'm gonna have to go back on Saturday and get some. And another thing I've been into lately, fresh herbs, all right? I'm a true chef when it comes to this. I, I love basil. A newfound love for basil. Cilantro is okay too. It's not my favorite. Sometimes I feel like it tastes like soap, but I'm adding it anyways. Actually, I still really like it, but basil has my heart. And I am putting this on the plate and I'm horrified because you can literally see my feet in this clip. As you can see, I'm not a true, you know, food chef blogger thingy. 
because this would be very unprofessional to have your feet in the food bank. But that's what we do out here. We're adding our fresh herbs now. Yum! Bone have the teeth. Doesn't that look yummy in your stummy? Okay. I devoured this in two seconds. This looks like a lot of food, but it was perfect for me. I was very hungry. It's all veggies, basically. Bone up the teeth. It's snack time. I had the Scout Organic Bar in salted chocolate flavor. I try to go for bars that have really little ingredients, and this one is so good. Highly recommend. I also had a bowl of thawed frozen strawberries. Random but good. Okay, it's already on to dinner, I guess. I'm gonna make a little Asian fusion, you might say. Here's this black bean tempeh. This is also from the Portland Farmer's Market. So good. We're gonna air fry up some frozen veggies, aka carrots, <laughs> and I threw my tempeh in there as well. We're gonna air fry that up, get it all nice and crispy. Honestly, because I'm too lazy to saute it again, I don't wanna get all hot. And I also cooked some nice jasmine rice with it, and here we are making a nice little sauce. I have some sesame sauce right here, but it's really thick. I wanted to thin it out a little bit. But I ended up adding way too much water, so it turned into a really watery sauce. And at this moment, I knew, you know, I messed up. But you can't go wrong anyways. It's Asian food. It's always going to be good. And so the veggies and the tempeh is done. And there we go. Poured the sauce. And as you can see, it's very watery. But we're going to pour it over rice, too, so it doesn't matter very much. There we go. We got the nice, fluffy white rice. Oh, my gosh. I love jasmine rice so much literally so good and now we're piling on the sauce sauced up tempeh and veg straight onto that rice and oh my gosh i want this dinner right now all over again because it was so good and you guys know we cannot forget dessert so i actually had another little mini scout bar it's peanut butter flavor and i had it with some dark mini chocolate chips from enjoy life so good great combo and that's all one crazy foodie grubbed on today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.